What's going on guys, it's Russ. In today's video, I wanna go over the ultimate phase grasp Amara build, or honestly, the ultimate Taz that bind Amara build. So with every phase grasp build, we all know we're running Taz that bind as it's one of the best access skills in the entire game. So I wanted to make a level 65 updated version. I've seen a lot of comments talking about what builds I'm using in some of my most recent videos, and this is that one. If this interests you, as always, my builds are located on my Discord channel. If you'd like to down them, the link to the Discord will be in the description. If you download the build, Enjoy the video if find helpful in any way consider subscribing and dropping a like it's free and that's what allows me to keep making videos like this for you guys but with all that being said i hope you enjoy the build all right so starting off as you can see from my last build the ultimate phase cast tomorrow build, i'm going a little bit more minimal with this because this is honestly all you need for this build now with this build you can run absolutely anything you want to run on it as just ties the bind itself is just insanely good you can swap this around so this is just overall one of the the best phase grasp of our builds but what i like to run personally is the light show this is still one of my favorite weapons in the entire game if you don't know it is essentially just a small monarch that you can be very mobile with i have a shock and a chorus one both with an axe skill in you get 100 percent bonus weapon damage that anoint or anoint where you get another magazine to have a bonus element to damage is the best anoint you can have for a phase grass build but if you're on a splash damage weapon you can have an anoint where you get 200 percent increased splash damage on you know your axe skill in but personally these two right here is where i like to run any shock or corrosive target you're gonna get through and destroy them it's really good for both takedowns and it will not let you down now for incendiary targets i'm gonna run the hellwalker the hellwalker is still just by far like the best weapon in the game now at this point on excellent you get a bonus 100 damage if you phase grasp an enemy especially with this anoint proc you can expect to kill everything with Taz divine like nothing is going to live the amount of damage that just comes out of one shot is absolutely insane and it is such a fun weapon if you don't have a Hellwalker, I highly recommend getting one. The buff they gave to it has just made it ridiculous, and it is so, so fun. Now, for the last weapon, I'm actually going to be running a Sandhawk in each element. Now, this has a phase cast annoying, and that is simply because if you want to farm bosses, you're going to need a decent gun to do that. These guns absolutely can do it, but if you want to do it super quick, the Sandhawks with the phase cast annoying is going to do you super well. And you can pretty much form anything. Obviously, Incinerary is really good on Grave Ward. And Shock and Corrosive are going to be good on other bosses. But between those three, you will be able to farm any boss in the game easily. Now, for the shield, I'm running the Plus Ultra again. If you remember my last video or even my video dedicated to this shield, this, in my opinion, is probably the best shield in the game. You get an insane amount of health. It essentially doubles your health. You get an insane benefit where you have a 25% chance to absorb bullets. And when you're taking damage, you get 30% cooldown rate. Plus, the shield itself has a low capacity, very high recharge rate, very low delay, which means you're going to have topped off proc in the same amount. And even when you don't have topped off proc, you're getting actual cooldown rate because you're taking damage. And it plays in this build really, really well, just like the phase cast build. And we'll get into that in a second. But definitely run a plus ultra. It's going to completely change the way you play the game. But now, for class mod, obviously we're running the phase zerker. I know the phase zerker is ran in almost every single build but the good thing is amar did get a new class mod which i have another build on it's a pure melee build and you can actually run more stuff than just the phase zerker but for this build the phase zerker is still probably going to be your best option and if you don't know what the phase zerker does when you pop any axle you're going to get max rush stack which in return is going to give you a ton of buffs in your steel tree and the phase zerker itself gives you cooldown rate and weapon damage with every amount of rush stack you have Plus, you also get an additional 5 rush stacks. You can see why this is ran in almost every build. But on this one, we're getting 32% weapon damage, 39% actual corner rate, and 20% Vladal Fire Rate. Vladal Fire Rate, really, really good for these. You can just melt enemies with these things. Axle corner rate is obviously really good. Pair it with our plus ultra, plus topped off, plus the corner rate you just get from the phase arcer is really nice. And weapon damage helps everything out. For the artifact, Pearl of Knowledge is always super good to run. You get an insane amount of damage. This one's giving you 14% more fire rate, 62% more magazine size. Magazine size is really good for every one of these weapons. Hellwalker, you can shoot two shots. Light Show, you can shoot more shots. And the fire rates make them shoot even faster. And same for the Sandhawk. Now, for the grenade, you can run anything you want to. As always, I like to run the It's Pits because you can apply a debuff to you know, whatever enemy you're fighting. And I have all four ASCs on the grenade to match with the cryo damage so you can run cryo on this and then you can have whatever second element you want to run for whatever you're getting yourself into now that is just the gear like i said i'll say it again you can run anything you want to in this build if you just want to try a weapon that drops on the ground i'm gonna be real it probably will do well in this build 
the ties the bond and the skills plus the phase arc is essentially what makes this build so if you want to run any new dlc item any just generic item world drop item you can try it out in this build and it will probably work just fine now getting into the skills this is where everything does start to come together this is where you can try your damage from obviously we're going to be running ties that bind if you couldn't tell already and you're going to have access to every axe element for whatever you're getting yourself into starting off i'm putting five points to do harm so this is actually an increase your axe skill damage based on the amount of stacks you have this it's 5.9 percent per stack and with the phase arcers you get an insane amount of stacks you can easily keep max stacks of this to get an insane amount of damage and if you don't know the ties that bind links actually get increased damage from this so you can shoot any gun at an enemy and doing the same amount of damage and it is super super fun and it's super super powerful it's honestly borderline broken but i don't want to say it's broken but like but it is it is super good three points at fast hands so you get more of those weapon slot speed and motion sweep just really good for this build if you want to swap between the hellwalker light shows it's just generally a nice skill and you got to get down to the bottom one point found tapestry so we can help keep our rust stacks up you don't really need this but you have to get down to the bottom if you want to put it in alacrity you can have three but i'm putting two points in it so you're going to get a little bit more reload speed based on the amount of rush stacks you have really really nice especially for something like the light show the downside of the light show is that it has a pretty slow reload speed but this plus fast hands is going to make up for that three points to transcend so you get 38 percent more accuracy 27 percent more critical damage every time you use your axe skill and you're going to be using your axe skill twice because of avatar plus avatars also give you 10 more rush stacks to increase your axe skill damage plus your reload speed with alacrity which is absolutely insane but you're going to get a ton of critical damage from this and the accuracy is also really good because you're running close range weapons one point in ascendant so you can buff any augment you run you can run absolutely any augment you want to personally i just run soul sap for survivability and it doesn't reduce the damage from your access skill so you can get as much damage out of taz as possible but you don't need that and if you want to run like stimulus mod or something you can to have a little bit more crowd control is absolutely fine three points in lay bear to get 25 percent more increased damage and again this works just like do harm the link targets from taz take increased damage plus if you're going against a boss you can swap to phase cast with your sandhawks this is going to apply a debuff to that boss and it also works really well like that three points of ass will get even more gun damage more after we pop an axe skill more damage is always nice three points in awakening so we can buff all our rush act effectiveness which means even more damage with our action skill one point in remnant since we're going to be doing an insane amount of damage it's gonna this is basically going to take our overkill damage put it into an orb the orb's going to track somebody and insta kill an enemy sometimes doing max damage cap like sometimes you don't even see numbers pop up because you've reached the damage limit we already went over avatar avatar like i said is just an insane good skill you can run in almost any amara build and it's what makes this build insane now get into the next skill tree i'm putting three points in steady hand so you have a handle and accuracy you gotta get down to the bottom this is really good uh it just makes the gameplay just generally more fun I'm putting five points to anima again because I got it down to the bottom. But this is actually going to increase your status effect damage, duration, and actual status effect damage. Anima honestly gets you killed half the time more than and then it actually does anything. But I don't want to take any point in infusion since I have access to all three elements. I don't want to convert any elements of damage, so that's why I'm throwing them in here. Honestly, if you just want to put two points in here and max a wildfire out, even though wildfire doesn't really do much, you could do that. It's whatever you want to do but i have one point wildfire to get down to the bottom same as illuminated fist but illuminated fist actually is pretty good because you get 75 percent more damage melee damage to be exact and this is going to work really well with ground baker because you can get an insane amount of damage stacked up with the hellwalker or the light show and just punch any with the ground breaker and this is buffing ground breaker five points is tippus this is buffing everything 30 percent more elemental damage 20 percent more shock damage really really good one point in dread so when we phase grass any we're getting 15 percent more damage and our gun's gonna be instantly reloaded when we kill an enemy. You can actually phase grass an enemy with the Hellwalker, shoot the Hellwalker twice, kill the enemy, then the Hellwalker's gonna get reloaded. You can shoot the Hellwalker again. So you can shoot like four shots from the Hellwalker if you time it perfectly, which is pretty fun. One point deep well, so we can buff our magazine size even more of the light shows. It doesn't really help the Hellwalker out much, but the light shows and Sandhawk, it does help out. Three points indiscriminate, so all our builds have a chance to ricochet. This makes the act clear super good for this build. Ricochet and the Hellwalker or the light show is just absolutely ridiculous. If the Taz wasn't act clear enough, this is going to make the act clear even more ridiculous, and it is super fun. Five points is sustainment, which is complete overkill, but if you, it's really the only place you can put the skill points. If you want to put them somewhere else, you can, 
but you're getting 20% life steal based on whatever elements of the damage you're doing, which is an insane amount. Literally, like one shot from the light show pretty much heals you to max, even with the plus ultra having double health. And that is where it's going to play in with this build. You can just have an insane amount of health constantly with sustainment, and you're just never going to be able to die. One point forces expression, so we get 18% bonus elemental damage on based on whatever axe element we're using. Like I said, you have access to all three. So if you're doing takedown, you can go corrosive. If you're doing just any activity, you can run uh, soul fire, so you can have bonus scenario damage to your shock and corrosive light shows. Or if you want to run shock with the hellwalker, you can too. Now getting to the last skill tree, I'm putting three points personal space. So the closer we are to any, we get more damage, and we're always going to be really, really close. I try to be as close as possible, so you're going to get an insane amount of damage with this. Two points of root draw, so we can get even more health, and I'm trying to get down to the next. And I'm trying to get down to the next skill tree so we can get to Blight Tiger. Plus, I'm putting 5 points in Helping Hands thanks to level 65. And you're going to get 40% damage reduction every time you use your Axe skill, which will, you'll always be using your Axe skill, so you always have 40% damage reduction. And then finally, one point you find your center. This is one point we had left over. You can put it anywhere, but honestly, I like to put it in here because you get more melee range and more melee damage, which is, again, buff and groundbreaker with the Illuminated Fist. And you're going to be able to just one melee a lot of enemies in this game even on a non melee build which is absolutely crazy so that is the updated Taz that bind build or phase grass build i know a lot of you have been waiting for it i really really hope this helped a lot of you out i know Taz that bind is probably the most used axe skill on amara and rightfully so because it is insanely good especially paired with all the skills that i just went over this build will absolutely get you through anything in the game with pretty much any weapon in the game and just like the phase cast build you can kind of craft it the way you want to play it so if you want to run some fun weapons it's going to do well or if you want to run some insanely good weapons like i have in this save file it's going going to do extremely well but that's going to be all for me thank you guys so much for all the reads and support on the channel thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one peace